Let's go to the details uh, related to string manipulation functions. We use string manipulation functions quite extensively. Here are some of the functions which we typically use to manipulate the strings. We can convert the case by using lower or upper or init cap. We can get the length of the string by using length. We can extract the data from existing strings using substring or split. Substring is used to extract the data from fixed length strings. Split is used to extract the data from variable length delimited strings. You can also uh, trim unwanted characters using uh, these functions trim, R trim and L trim. You can pad a particular character to the strings either on the right side or the left side using R pad or L pad. You can also reverse the strings using reverse function. Also we can concatenate multiple strings either by using concat and concat underscore ws. Concat underscore ws is primarily used to concatenate strings with a specific character while concatenating all the strings. We will see examples in a moment. You will understand the difference between concat and concat underscore ws at that time. Let's get into case conversion and length. For case conversion, we use lower, upper, and init cap. For length, we use length function. This is the sample query with respect to case conversion. Lower convert everything to lower case. All characters in hello world will become lower case. Upper will convert all characters to upper case. Whereas init cap will actually convert the first character in each word to upper case. Rest of the characters will be lower case. You can get the length of the string by using length function like this. You can see that hello world is of length 11 characters. Here are a few examples with respect to how we apply these functions on top of actual table data. Here we have applied these functions on hard coded strings. Now let's uh, see how these are typically applied on actual table data. I am connecting to ITVersity Retail database here. Then I can list the tables. You can see that we have all these tables. There is a table called as orders. I am previewing the data first. Now let's say I want to convert the status in order status to lower case. So I can use lower function like this on the column order status and you will see that the data in order status is converted to lower case in this case. Similar to that you can even apply a length function to get the length of each of these strings something like this. So you can say length of order status as order status underscore length and you will see that the length is also displayed here. Now let us understand how to extract data from strings using substring or substring and split. So substring can be used using either this function or this function. Both are exactly the same. If you want you can get the syntax of these functions by saying describe function substr or substring. However, due to the limitation of uh, Jupyter environment, you might not be able to see the complete content here. To overcome that, you can actually use uh, the Scala code snippet like this, park.sql and then show false and you should be able to see the complete uh, explanation of this function. If you look at sub str and substring, both actually say the same thing. So you have to pass the string first or the column first and then you have to specify the position and length. So in this case, when you run this, it will start from the first character and it will actually get four characters from the first character. So you will see 2013 here. With this example, you will see starting from sixth character, two characters, which means this part. 0 and 7. The index starts with 1 in case of sub str or substring. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 is 0 and hence you will be seeing 0, 7 here. In this case you will be seeing 25 from 9th characters, 2 characters. If you do not have the third character, whatever position you have specified from there it will actually display rest of the string. So in this case it will actually show the zeros and columns uh, which is nothing but timestamp part of our date. Now let us see how we can extract date part from order date of orders using substring. There are other better functions which we will be covering as part of the date manipulation functions. However, even using substring we should be able to get the date part as our dates are fixed length strings. Let's preview the data. You can see that all the dates are fixed length. The first 10 characters are nothing but the date part and hence we can use sub str like this with uh, the column name comma 1 comma 10 which will extract the date part. If you want to get the time part, you just have to say 12 after odd date is passed as first argument and you should be able to see the time part which is nothing but all zeros in our case. Now we can use split to convert delimited string into array. So in this case, uh, you can consider this as a delimited string with hyphen between year, month and date. If you run this 
query with a split on top of it. You see it is written an array or list with the three elements in it. In one record, there is only one record here. That record has three elements and the type of that record is list. Now if you want to get the first element, you have to use zero. If you say one, you will get second element. If you say two, you will get third element. And this is how you can pass uh, the index of each of these elements. So this will actually return 0, 07. We can use explode to convert an array in one record into multiple records. So now if you run this, it will actually return three records and you can see the results here. This is how we can convert a string which is delimited into an array and explode it into multiple records. Once the data is converted into multiple records, we can uh, perform a typical uh, database operations on top of it based upon our problem statement. We will see an example at a later point in time with respect to word count where split and explode can be leveraged to get the word count. Now let's talk about trimming and padding functions. Ltrim is used to remove the spaces on the left side of the string. Rtrim is used to remove the spaces on the right side of the string. Trim is used to remove the spaces on both sides of the string. We can actually run these things to understand how they can be leveraged to remove the spaces on uh, left side or right side or both the sides. Let's understand how to use padding to pad characters to a string. Let us assume that there are three fields, year, month and date, which are of type integer. You can see here, the year is 2013, month is 7 and 25th is date. At times you might want to concatenate these things and want to generate the date. When we try to concatenate these things and generate the date, the month should be 07, not 7. If the month is 7, then the sorting results will be incorrect if you end up sorting the data. So in this case, we can leverage functions such as LPAD to pad 0 on the left side. When it comes to LPAD and RPAD, LPAD is used more often than RPAD in these scenarios, but at times we might have to use RPAD also. Whenever you want to use RPAD, you can apply similar principles to take care of your problem using RPAD. Now let me run this. In this case, uh, I am saying LPAD of 7, 2, 0. 7 is the input uh, value, 2 is the desired length, and 0 is the padding character. So if the length of the input value is less than the desired length, then 0 will be used to pad before this. However, if the length of the input value is same as the desired length, there won't be any effect. So in this case, it will just return 10. Keep in mind that if the length of the input value is greater than the desired length, then it will trim to two characters. In this case, the 0 on the right side is trimmed. So understand the side effect of the LPAD if the length of the input value is greater than the desired length of the string. That being said, now let us understand how to reverse and concatenate multiple strings. These two are different uh, things, but I am uh, clubbing these two to cover as part of one uh, stretch. Other than that, there is no direct relationship between reverse and concatenating multiple strings. We can use reverse uh, to reverse a string. We can concatenate multiple strings using either concat or concat underscore ws. Concat underscore ws is typically used if you want to have the same string between all the strings that are being concatenated. We will see an example so that you understand. So this is how you can reverse a string. Typically reversing is used to apply as part of some advanced indexing strategies where you might want to reverse the strings while indexing. You can concatenate like this. In this case I have concatenated hello and world. I want to have space also in between. That's why I have space here. You can also apply concat uh, against our column values. So in this case I have orders and I'm just saying select concat of order status is order status. So a literal order status is concatenated to order status and you should be able to see the results here. Order status is blah blah blah. As uh, the output is uh, truncated, I'm just using the scalar style to see the complete value. Now you can see that order status is complete, pending payments and so forth. Also, let's take this example of uh, having year, month and date. So in this case, I am selecting all the three values by using subquery like this. So select star from subquery with the alias Q and you can see all the three values. Now if I want to concatenate all these three things, then I can use concat function like this. So in between I am specifying hyphen to be concatenated and also I am using LPAD to pad the month as well as date if the length of the month or date is less than two characters, it will pad with zero and you can see the output here. It will return 2013-07-25. However, instead of repeating hyphen multiple times, you can use concat underscore ws, pass the hyphen as first argument and pass rest of the expressions, it will give you the same output. 
so wherever you have the requirement of concatenating multiple strings with a typical delimiter in between then we can use concat underscore ws that is the difference between concat and concat underscore ws now you can see the results as expected so this is how you can leverage all the functions that are available to manipulate the strings and start solving the business problems however if you have some other string manipulation requirement and if it is not covered as part of this you just have to go to the list of functions understand if any of the existing functions will solve your problem and start using it